Hello world and welcome to today's motivation. I'm Tori. Stay tuned. In today's motivation, I want to talk to you about God's timing. Keep watching. So the Bible tells us in the book of Ecclesiastes, it tells us that there is a time and a season for everything under the sun. Well, what happens when that timing gets interrupted? Whether it's interrupted by, I don't know, a global pandemic or <laughs> an unexpected baby, or maybe it's the loss of a job. What do you do when it seems like what you planned is not working out? Well, I had a conversation with the Lord the other day and I was just rambling and rambling and rambling about all the things that I was frustrated about um, that seemingly were taking a long time. But then I have to remember that God's timing is perfect. Regardless of what it feels like in the natural, God's timing is perfect. I would have liked it to have happened, I don't know, 20, 15 years ago. I would have liked it to happen yesterday. But for whatever reason, God says that it's not time yet. It doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. I heard Bishop Jakes give him a sermon and it said, delayed but not denied. Just because the promise is not here yet does not mean that the promise is not on the way. So who better to tell us about this promise than Abraham and Sarah? They had waited and waited for that promised child to come. And when they tried to fix it and when they tried to do it, they started to mess things up. And the situation got a little muddy. The situation began to look a little chaotic. But when you wait patiently for God, He knows exactly what you need and when you need it. So remember that even though things may not be going the way that you want them to go, even though our whole world, our life, what was no, what we thought to be normal has been interrupted. This did not catch God by surprise and his timing is always better than ours because he is a perfect God. There is nothing missing, nothing broken in him. He is all encompassing of everything that we could ever need. He knows what we need but better than we do. Here's another thing. He knows what we want better than we do. And trust me, it gives him pleasure. It delights his heart to give good gifts to his children. The Bible tells us, it says, that if an earthly father desires to give good gifts to his children, then how much more does our heavenly father desire to bless us? Listen, God is not punishing you. He's just setting you up for the perfect time. So listen, family, do what the Bible says. The Bible says that we're supposed to occupy until he comes. What does that mean? It means that we're supposed to remain busy. We're supposed to be remaining at purposeful work, not just random work, but we're supposed to be continuing in purposeful work until he comes, until that timing manifests, until our change comes. God bless you, family. Just remember that today, God's timing is perfect. perfect. Thank you so much for taking our time to join me today in this video. As always, family, God bless you. Do me a favor, like and share this post. Let's get the word out about today's motivation because somebody needs to be motivated. Family, have an amazing day, and I'll see you in my next video.